guys. Welcome back to Ancient Amnesia Podcast. This is Josh, and I'm back with another quick clip show. Today, covering an article released by physics.org and written by Anastasia Komarova, a study revealing that the Great Pyramid of Giza can focus electromagnetic energy. Now, if you've been in the alternative history circuit for some time now, you will understand that many researchers have taken a second look at the Great Pyramid and made all kinds of assumptions. We hear anything from weaponry to healing chambers to power plants. One thing we are sure of is that we do not understand exactly what the pyramid was built for, who built it, how old it is, and what its purpose was. Now science has been curious enough to take a look, and an international research group has applied methods of theoretical physics to investigate the electromagnetic response of the Great Pyramid to radio waves. Scientists predicted that under the resonant conditions, the pyramid can concentrate electromagnetic energy in its internal chambers and under the base. The research group plans to use these theoretical results to design nanoparticles capable of reproducing similar effects in the optical range. Such nanoparticles may be used, for example, to develop sensors and highly efficient solar cells. A study that was published in the Journal of Applied Physics. While Egyptian pyramids are surrounded by many myths and legends, researchers have little scientifically reliable information about their physical properties. Physicists recently took an interest in how the Great Pyramid would interact with electromagnetic waves of a resonant length. Calculations show that in the resonant state, the pyramid can concentrate electromagnetic energy in its internal chambers as well as under its base, where the third unfinished chamber is located. These conclusions were derived on the basis of numerical modeling and analytical methods of physics. The researchers first estimated that the resonances in the pyramid can be induced by radio waves with a length ranging between 200 to 600 meters. They then made a model of the electromagnetic response of the pyramid and calculated the extinction cross-section. This value helps to estimate which part of the incident wave energy can be scattered or absorbed by the pyramid under resonant conditions. Finally, for the same conditions, the scientists obtained the electromagnetic field distribution inside the pyramid. In order to explain the results, the scientists conducted a multipole analysis. This method is widely used in physics to study the interaction between a complex object and its electromagnetic field. The object scattering the field is replaced by a set of simpler sources of radiation, multipoles. The collection of multipole radiation coincides with the field scattering by an entire object. Therefore, knowing the type of each multipole, it is possible to predict and explain the distribution and configuration of the scattered fields in the whole system. The Great Pyramid attracted the researchers while they were studying the interaction between light and dielectric nanoparticles. The scattering of light by nanoparticles depends on their size, shape, and refractive index of the source material. Varying these parameters, it is possible to determine the resonance scattering regimes and use them to develop the devices for controlling light at the nano scale. Egyptian pyramids have always attracted great attention. We as scientists were interested in them as well, so we decided to look at the Great Pyramid as a particle dissipating radio wave resonantly. Due to the lack of information about the physical properties of the pyramid, we had to use some assumptions. For example, we assumed that there are known unknown cavities inside, and the building material with the properties of an ordinary limestone is evenly distributed in and out of the pyramid. With these assumptions made, we obtained interesting results and can find important practical applications, says Dr. Andre, at the scientific supervisor and coordinator of this research. Now scientists plan to use the results to reproduce similar effects at the nano scale. Choosing a material with suitable electromagnetic properties, we can obtain pyramidal nanoparticles with a promise for practical application in nanosensors and effective solar cells. So scientists are beginning to find and understand that the Great Pyramid is more a machine than a religious monument or possibly a tomb. As more research comes out, we believe that 
Science will be very surprised at the abilities the ancients had, the knowledge they knew of the universe, and potentially the technical level of advancement that they achieved. We hope you enjoyed this clip. Please stay tuned for more. Go to ancientamnesia.com for more archived articles and podcasts. Go to our Facebook at Ancient Amnesia Facebook and join the movement. And if you want to discuss these topics together, join our discussion group at Ancient Amnesia Discussion. And until then, we'll see you next time.